morning from Little Creek Bee Ranch. This is a video I really don't want to make, but I've dedicated myself to show you things that crop up as they pop up on me. See this little hive right here? Look at the corner right below the bottom of the jar. You see how the ground is dug out around? It was sitting on a pile of leaves. All the leaves are dug out. I'm just getting on down there. And it's all dug out underneath. Okay, now something is digging underneath my hives. So today when I was this morning making my rounds just for visual inspections, I smelled Mr. Pepe Le Pew. So here's what I found. I'm going to walk you over here about, I don't know, what is it, 30, 40 yards. I'm going to walk over here. And this, I just found this this morning. So he has decided to take up camp over here near the hives. So here you got to come up with a game plan, see if you find this. You just can't let this go unchecked. So I make my little road over here. And uh, we have blackberry bushes over here. And I'm going to roll right up on a big den. Can you see that hole? I hope you can see that. That's a big hole. And I'm betting there's a big old gnarly skunk down in there. And he's got his path. He tootles right through there, over there to the beehive. And this is where he's holed up. Right in there. Now if he comes flying out of there, you're gonna see a beekeeper hauling butt to the house. I don't want I've been sprayed before as a kid. I don't want to be sprayed. So I know a young man who's coming home from college Saturday, he's gonna be trapping out a skunk for me. Dead gum skunks. They can boy they eat a bunch of bees, man. Look at that, he dug boy I mean a hole now. That surely got to be a skunk hole. So, yeah, that's not very far. See that? They love bees. Boy, they'll sit in there and eat. They'll slap that porch and dig at it until they can get enough bees to satisfy them. And I'm sure he's tucked up under there. So if you got briars and blackberries like this, look for dens. And uh, right there's the hive. Come out there and have a midnight snack and sit there and eat and eat and eat. And if you don't like that hive, you go pick another one and have a whole buffet of bees. So we're going to set up some steel traps and trap out a skunk. I assume, boy, it sure smells. It's kind of getting a waft every now and then. So anyway, Mr. Skunk, your days are numbered, buddy. Have a good day, folks.